What's going on guys? Nate here with Two Wheel Dino Works. Today we're going to take a look at a 100 inch big bore kit that we got to drop into an early 2000s model Road King. And we're going to talk a little bit about the different ways that we tackle the tuning of these Harley Davidsons and these twin cam engines. So ultimately this bike turned out amazingly well, but let's talk for just a second about the challenges that we usually see when we tune these Harley Davidsons. The front and the rear cylinders on these bikes require dramatically different fuel mapping. The front cylinder stays much cooler when you're rolling down the road versus the rear cylinder, which gets much less airflow across the fins. So the way we overcome those differences between the front and the rear cylinder is that we run on the dyno our wideband O2 sensor up into the front and the rear head pipes independently of each other. That gives us the ability to monitor AFRs and set fuel ignition mapping specifically for each cylinder to ultimately balance the two of them together. Not only do we tune these Harleys front and rear cylinders independently of each other, but we also have such fine control through the Power Commander software that we use that we can adjust 10 different throttle positions every 250 RPMs. So for example, on your average Harley Davidson like this one, you get about 26 different RPM tuning points from idle all the way up to the red line. And with 10 different throttle positions, that's 260 individual tuning points per cylinder. Like I said, this bike and build turned out amazingly well. When it first came in, the customer already had a 510 lift cam from SNS installed. And with no mapping whatsoever, it made 78 horse and about 82 foot pounds of torque. Once we got the tuning dialed in with the cam already installed, it came up to about 84 and 89 respectively. But the thing absolutely came alive with that 100 inch big bore kit. You can see for yourself, the red line there runs 68. The peak power came up to 107 horsepower and 112 foot pounds of torque. It's also important to note that we didn't go crazy with the compression on this build. This 100 inch big bore kit only has 10.1 to 1 compression to keep this thing as safe and reliable as possible. The bottom end of this bike already has 50,000 miles on of it and we want to get 50,000 more. A lot of people are under the misconception that you have to go crazy with the compression on these V-twins to get real power out of them, and obviously that's just not the case. When you match the cam, the exhaust, the displacement, and the heads all together, you can get results just like this with very mild and relatively low compression engines. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't hit to forget that like button below, and please subscribe to our channel to stay on top of the most recent bikes and builds that we get here in the shop.